have your elastic all the way through your casing, you're going to be sewing it together. Okay? You want to make sure that before you sew it together, that it's not twisted anywhere, that it's going to be laying flat. Now that I know that mine is flat, I'm going to be overlapping the two pieces of elastic one inch and making um, my stitches. So I'm going to take the pin out. I'm going to be careful not to uh, let the elastic slide back into the casing. And if I know that this is going to be laying flat and the elastic isn't twisted, I'm going to open it up and overlap the pieces of elastic by one inch. And then I'm going to be sewing them together. So I can put my pin back in so I don't lose my place. And I'm going to be sewing with a zigzag stitch. Now when I'm sewing, I don't want this to accidentally slide back in or be sewing on top of my shorts here because then my stitching line will end up on the outside of my shorts. I'm only sewing through the elastic, so I'm going to pull it out as much as I can so that I'm only sewing through two layers here. Okay, then I'm going to change my machine setting to number eight. So I'm going to be doing a zigzag stitch. And then I'm going to put my elastic into my sewing machine like this. And I'm going to be sewing four different zigzag lines to make sure that this elastic isn't going to come apart later. So I'm going to sew forwards. And then I'm going to go reverse all the way back to the beginning. Okay, so I have one line. Now I can take my pin out because this first line is going to be holding it together and I can cut my threads. And I'm going to be doing this three more times to make sure the elastic uh, is going to stay together. So right next to my first zigzag line I'm going to do another one and reverse back to the beginning okay. and then I'm going to do my third line right next to it I can take this one out and I'm going to do my fourth one right next to that one Reverse back to the beginning. And then when I take this out, I can cut off all of my extra thread tails. And then when you slide it back in, you should make sure before we do anything else that it definitely didn't twist before you were sewing it together. Okay, so kind of stretch it out like this. Make sure that your stitching is good, that this isn't going to be coming apart, and that nothing is twisted.